This video is going to describe the settings section. This may be one of the trickiest areas to understand. To set up settings properly, we must also set up proper QuickBooks accounts to go with these settings. You can use existing accounts if you already have them in QuickBooks by going into the QuickBook Accounts button on the home screen, clicking Fetch, and choosing that account from the drop-down menu. Much of this tutorial will be first setting up QuickBooks, fetching those accounts, and then answering the settings questions appropriately. Let's go ahead and review a few settings before jumping to QuickBooks. From the home screen of Retail Merge, click on Settings. If you look through this list, you may be overwhelmed, but it shouldn't take too long to get set up. As you go through, you will notice many similar expressions from expenses from Amazon. We need to just set up these accounts properly in QuickBooks, fetch the accounts into Retail Merge, and then answer the question properly in Retail Merge. Go ahead and sign into your QuickBooks account and go to your Chart of Accounts. You will now click New to start creating the following list of accounts. You can name them what you want, but I like to name them to match what Amazon calls them for easy auditing. Once you click New, you get a screen to create the accounts. In this example, we have Amazon Clearing. Go ahead and set it up exactly like this, with category type equal bank, detail type equals checking, and the name is Amazon Space Clearing. You can put in any description you would like. When you are done, click Save and New, which you may have to change from Save and Close, and continue setting up all of the accounts listed on the next slides. Before you start adding all accounts, let me take a minute to explain that Amazon Clearing account you just set up so you understand the concept behind it and know how to create one journal entry every two weeks to match your payments from Amazon. When Amazon sends you a payment, they include your gross sales and then all of the expenses they associated to those sales, which leaves you with the net profit and taxes they send you a payment for. When you process that information into Retail Merge, as you will learn how to do in a later video, you will see that Retail Merge deposits the gross sales into the Amazon Clearing account and then creates a payment for the expenses, leaving you with an account balance that matches the payment from Amazon. You are then responsible just to do one journal entry for that payment and when it comes in, you can click Match with your bank account and all of the accounting is done for you like that. Yes, it is awesome! Some of the accounts may already be in QuickBooks. If they are, great! You can use the one already there. If not, go ahead and set up the following accounts. Let's start with Expenses. You can pause the video here and put in these expenses. Now let's set up these remaining accounts. Once you are done setting up all your QuickBook accounts, Let's go back to the home screen of Retail Merge, click on the button QBO Accounts, scroll to the bottom, and click Fetch. You should now see all of your new accounts in this list if you scroll through it. Now let's go back to Retail Merge home screen, click on Settings, and start picking these accounts we have set up. Phew, I'm glad that one's done. Are you?